Every year, I volunteer helping high schoolers learn how to program and build Java robots. Today, I'm going to be telling you the story of 2016 and Team 694, StyPulse. Hope it goes well. Red Alliance. Red Alliance. Yeah, I know. I just got through telling you we're building robots, and now we're at a sporting event. What gives? The program wants students to realize that tech is fun, so they go into it. It's called FIRST, for inspiration and recognition in science and technology. The students work with adults, professionals like us, to see what it's really like, and if this is what they want to do as a career. Every year, our team builds two robots. We build a small 18-inch FIRST Tech Challenge FTC robot, and a far larger FRC FIRST Robotics Challenge robot. That one is five feet tall and 125 pounds, just like me. Every year in January, we find out what the game is. In 2016, it was a castle theme. The robots had to go under, over, and through obstacles, and then throw boulders, also known as dodgeballs, to storm the castle and win. It's a completely student-run activity. The kids program and build the robot all by themselves. The only adult in these pictures is merely pointing and advising. It's awesome to be part of a project like this. If that wasn't hard enough, they add another wrinkle. Every year, one game element has retroreflective tape to encourage the use of CV, computer vision. This is something we've struggled with over the years, but it's really cool to see what the robot sees. And it's a great challenge for the students to work on. They learn about open CV, HSB, contourization, binarization, and more. I hadn't heard of any of this in high school. And every year, we try to build something. In 2016, they did pretty well. It didn't always work. You can see CV fails what we have edge cases in the code. But they did better than ever before. So on the robot due date, I brought in cookies to celebrate. And I told them if they scored a certain number of computer vision shots in competition, I would bring in something better than cookies. I was told there's nothing better than cookies, but there totally is. Custom printed M&Ms. R said the team number 694 and CV on them. We got to competition. The team is ready, completely in red. There's red t-shirts, bows, hats, banners. I wore my team uniform to celebrate. And we're ready to compete. But it's not just about our robot. The program encourages them to help each other through core values of gracious professionalism and cooperation. Yes, that's a real word. If they're working with a teammate or they see another team where the robot doesn't work, they'll help each other out so that every high school team gets to see their robot that they built on the field, which is awesome. We did well in 2016. We seeded eighth. The team that was seeded fourth picked us to compete with them in eliminations, and together we won New York City. We're going to the championship event in St. Louis. Yes! In St. Louis, there were eight fields of 75 robots each. We were on the Curie field, and we were nervous. Because while we might have done well in New York City, championships is a whole nother ball game. Luckily, we don't just have robot builders on our team. We have an excellent business intelligence and strategy department. Yes, made up entirely of high schoolers. They wrote a white paper of what was going to happen in every match. Reading it was like predicting the future. They were right for every match. Their strategy worked. We were eighth again out of 75 teams. None of the teams above us picked us to compete with them. But we decided we were going to have the eighth alliance and hope for the best competing against alliance number one right away. And then something incredible happened. There was an upset in quarterfinals. There was an upset in semifinals. And by two points, we did it. We won our division. For the first time ever in our team's history, we're going to the Einstein Championship field. Yes. You can see our team from New York on the floor of the dome in St. Louis. We've never done it before, and we're really excited. You can also see all of the other teams in the background of the shot, because part of going to championships is learning from each other. In particular, Team 7308 used machine learning to train their CV algorithm to be faster and more accurate. This is something that we wanted to learn about in future years. Overall, it was a great experience. If these kids know about CV and machine learning in high school, imagine what they're going to be like in six to eight years when they're your coworkers. You can read more about this or volunteer at firstinspires.org. Let's go, Stipulse!